The TRD boy is out. Got to take off that young snap ring right there. It's one of the easier ones to deal with. Although, probably still mess it up. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What's up? So today's gonna be pretty cool. We got some awesome stuff in the mail for the 8.6. We got a bride seat, a brand new alternator, brand new starter, and fuel filter which I've been waiting for for a super long time. So that's gonna finish, well, kind of finish for the most part, the mechanical restoration of the engine and stuff, like the engine bay, um, because everything else is good. I'm still waiting on the igniter, but that's super easy to install. It sounds awesome. I figured out what that rattle was. It was just the uh, alternator bolt right there. That little washer was like not tight, so it was, the bolt wasn't tight, so the washer was vibrating up against that bracket. So glad I figured that out. Now it sounds perfect. E-fans should be here today and then I could start bleeding the cooling system and just getting it so that it's you know all dialed in and stuff and then I have to wait for um, somebody to come over and help me bleed the brakes and bleed the clutch. Securely mount the battery, just replace that igniter and uh, then the engine bay is pretty much done. So super minor stuff you know has to happen from here on. So that's pretty cool. Ideally, I really, really want, like in the long run, I really want to get, uh, Bri or not Brad, um, fuck, Recaro SR3s, uh, the Lama edition seats, like the confetti style one that people call them. Those are like my dream seats, like they're super rare and hard to find, and when you do find them, they're like mega expensive. So, um, I don't know, I just don't want to spend $1,200 on seats. So, but I guess it's that's not like too expensive for like really, really good like reclinable seats. This is gonna be super rad getting rid of this disgusting stock seat. I don't know what I'm gonna do for a passenger seat yet because these are, these have like the blue-ish trim, although it's like really hard to tell. I think it's actually like a really, really dark gray blue kind of, but uh, I mean these are just gross. So I wanna get like a newer seat for the passenger side, like from a newer Toyota like a Celica or something, a Gen 5 or Gen 6 Celica. Um, and then just have that be like color matched. Like ideally it'd be gray right here, like in the inside and then like black bolsters. But I don't know, I just gotta like hunt around junkyards and stuff and uh, do that. So anyway, I'm gonna rip this thing out right now and put in the bride. Well that took all of five seconds, so there's a stock GTS seat. Um, I might keep these around, I don't know. I really wouldn't have a use for them after, you know, of course a bucket seat. Uh, and they're pretty trashed and they would cost a lot of money to re, you know, refinish and refurbish professionally. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Probably keep them around, but if I get a good enough price and someone needs them, I'll probably sell them. But anyway, here's one of these. Uh, eBay brides because um, I'm not balling enough to spend $1,200 on a single seat. So this was around 260 I think, shipped. Uh, it's all fiberglass, super light, um, you know, good like temporary budget seat for right now. And uh, you know, I, I really want to find some, some of those uh, Recaro SR3s, the T3 side mount brackets. So these can absolutely dial in your seating position, no matter how short or tall you are. And it's cool because um, I have like a really, really specific seating position that I look for in cars. So like there's so many adjustments that you can make, like the angle and like you could go this far back with them and I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. And they're super light as well, so that's cool. Um, like these don't really add a bunch of weight to the car that you don't need to and uh, here's the floor brackets of course so side to side adjustment and then this is uh, backwards and forwards so a uh, little bit finicky when you're first trying to do this oh also I got OEM um, replacement shifter bushings so I can get a um, my OEM shifter back in there to replace the TRD one that is angled towards the right side of the car
Well, the seat's in. Um, I didn't really film much of it, just kind of messing with the brackets here and there, but uh, man, that was a pain in the butt to install. But there's like so many adjustments to make and like accessing the bolts under the rails is kind of a nightmare, but um, when it's all set up, man, I've never had like fixed seat like side mount brackets before. And I will never buy like bottom mount brackets again because this seat is solid as fuck. Like it is not going anywhere. Um, normally when you buy like bottom mount seats, like it mounts to the bottom, not on the side. Um, like there's four, there's four seat bolts on the bottom, like base of the seat. And then there's four like on the side. So two on each side. Um, and with these, it kind of prevents it from twisting like that. And especially with like cheaper seats, you have that problem a lot cause they're fiberglass and they're like not as strong as like a carbon fiber or like a really dense FRP setup. Um, like most higher grade seats have, they're not just kind of cheaper flimsy stuff. Um, but this is super solid. So this is really cool. So there it is, those are my specs. Um, I have it on the second from the lowest position down there and sort of in the middle. Um, I have it all the way back as far as this adjustment goes right here. So all the way back on these sliders and uh, midway back as far as this um, goes. So these are like little locks, they have like teeth on them so that uh, you tighten these and these and basically you can't move it back and forth. Um, I kind of like that design. And in the front, it's just a single bolt, um, about like, I don't know, 40% of the way back. So, oh yeah, and this one's on the middle setting. So there's two more, and then two on the bottom. So I have it right in the middle. So um, I kind of wanted it to have like an angle like that so that my legs go up and then down to the pedals. So um, I don't know, I find that that's like the best seating position for me. So, there it is, it's a Bride Vios, however you say that. So, once again, like just a cheaper seat for now because uh, I'm like completely over budget for this car. I knew I was going to be, but uh, you know, down the road, down the road when I find those Recaro SR3s that I really want super, super bad, um, those are definitely going in this car. But I, I want like a fixed seat um, with like side mounts now because man, this is like super solid. Cause I'm taller, it's harder to find a spot that's like comfortable to, you know, get to everything being far back. So, um, when I put it in the farthest gear, my hand is not, my arm is not fully extended. So that's one thing I was looking for. Everything else though is pretty solid. Like I have decent space in my legs. That's really important. And I don't know. I'm ready to drive this thing. I really wish my coilovers didn't take so long to actually like get here and be made because um, I don't know, all I need to do is like bleed the brakes. I rebuilt the rear calipers by the way um, and with the car I got four Brembo um, rotors. Um, the rears are drilled and then the fronts are drilled and slotted so um, normally I'm like not a fan of that, but they came with the car, so it's whatever. All right, so just doing the brake lines right now. And here are the old ones. Man, those are so terrible. I almost fucked up my brake lines um, by not using a flare wrench. So luckily they came off. Um, had to use a little bit of heat to actually break them loose. But yeah, luckily I got the torch on me, so. Yeah, these are toast. So getting an upgrade to the braided steel lines. So these are gonna be rad. There's no flex in these bad boys whatsoever. So yeah, I just feel a lot better about running brand new hoses. And also I'm gonna install these TRD uh, sway bar bushings. Finally, finally just got my electric fans. Holy shit, I have no idea what took them so long to get these here, but I ordered these on the 21st of June, and it's now the 11th or 12th, I think. No, it's the 12th. Holy shit. Wow, but uh, here they are. And look how they shipped them. They just literally put these two ties on here, and 
the two boxes and that's it with the little shipping note on it. I guess it works, but really? Anyway, I think this one in the mail is my igniter. I'll open it up and see. Unboxing channel, Tommy F. Yeah style. Just kidding, I watch Tommy's videos literally every day. So, I'm not sure what these are, little holders, like for the clamp around it or something, so it doesn't, I have no idea. But, boom. There it is, gonna replace the 190,000 mile original igniter that's in the car right now. So, this is cool, I don't even wanna touch it because my hands are all greasy. I just put the pads and the calipers in the rear. Uh, I rebuilt the calipers, I think I already said that. Um, got the Brembo rotors on there and the stainless steel brake lines. I uh, just gotta bleed them now, I'll kinda show you what, uh, what that all looks like when I'm bleeding them. But I just lowered the car for the first time in probably two weeks. Looks pretty good. And it's still on the stock springs, like I said, just waiting for those coilovers to get made. And uh, I don't know, I still have to get tires put on those wheels I got. But got the new ignition coil in there. Looking pretty good. And what else? Oh yeah, I got a new serpentine belt. Got the Gates belt on that brand new alternator down there. So hopefully that's good. I'm like a little bit worried about the pulley alignment, but I think it's fine. Put the fans on tomorrow, and then we can start bleeding the cooling system, finally. God, I waited for like two or three weeks for those damn fans. I didn't know they would take so long to get here. Just got back from work, thought I might as well install that uh, OEM shifter again with these new bushings from Techno Toy Tuning. So that's gonna be dope. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna try to compare the TRD short shifter that's in it right now with the right hand drive lean to the uh, OEM shifter. So hopefully, I, uh, I don't know. I think I like the OEM one more. I don't mind like super long shifts or anything. All right, so here's the OEM shifter base, the flat spacer kind of rubber bushing goes on the bottom like that inside there. And then these two halves, I guess. Um, just weird because I thought that these were supposed to be, or this was supposed to be one thing. And uh, it doesn't look like it, but I guess they do that for like ease of installation maybe because uh, if this was like one thing it won't fit like with these because it's Delrin and it's not flexible so if you just try to put it in as like a full circle I don't I don't think it would work like that but um, I'm gonna try to put the two halves in there I guess so that one's in there we just snapped in real nice and then this one. This is kind of finicky. Oop. All right, I got it. So it's in there. I guess you can see that gap in there. Here's a fucking gap. The hell's that right there? I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter that much. But, so that's it. Um, and then this bottom one right here goes on the uh, shift lever. So I'm gonna pop that on right now. All right, that one's on. Just lubed it up, because there's nothing worse than going in dry. The TRD boy is out. Gotta take off that young snap ring right there. It's one of the easier ones to deal with. Although, probably still mess it up. Oh, yeah, that sounds kind of funky. Ow! 
Check it out. When I begin to wreck a hip hop tune, the crowd reacts immediately, if not soon. I'm black and proud. I move the crowd. I raise from hell. Yo, my lyrics so low, rock the bell of those who say that it's me. They want to scar. Hmm, that's like George Burns without a cigar. Some come in the game and project the heart image, but they can't never get past the line of women. Wow, look at those throws, man. That's crazy. Man, this thing is almost ready to drive. So close. No, I, I still have plenty of clearance, so that's good. Yeah, this is pretty comfortable. I can deal with that all day. I like that a lot better, actually. Yep, that'll do.